Um, hi, I'm Darwin. I'm an eighth grader from Westside Middle School. News what? We're all misfits. And this is my poem, Fixable. Fix them. Fix him. Fix her. Fix whatever they are. Am I fixable? Will I ever be? Those thoughts trace around my brain like a hacker trying to catch a code to start the virus in me. Wiring my brain every word you say, more and more my thoughts become scrambled with the virus of am I fixable. You build me up like a machine, first try, so proud of me, only for me to break down and spill my tears everywhere. I would beg you to stay. I cut my hair and change my name, hoping I wouldn't be labeled as your mistake, because I wasn't fixable, and I would never be to you. Instead of a machine, I was a genetic mistake. My DNA is tangled with yours. When will you learn I can't fix myself without your help? Yet drink after drink after every single drink, you sat there and watched me. I feel haunted by some sort of ghost of you. Your looks judge me like your words. You never cared to ask me if I was okay. No, I wasn't. And you knew that, didn't you? Bed after bed, room after room, night and day, medicine was the food I ate. They believed it would fix me. I believed they could fix me. But who am I to believe the boy like me could be fixed? My bones are weak like a glass doll for them to only break when you let me fall. My weight drops like my life that falls right before me. My lungs are toast that are burnt from the toaster that fuses every time I'm walking up a mountain. But the mountain is everyday walks or a simple step up the stairs. You don't know how many times I've looked in the mirror and wish I could change the way I, <laughs> change the way I look because of the way your words haunt me. If perfect was a thing, my label would be the perfect mistake. I can't cut my body out with scissors. I've looked in that mirror, wish I was prettier. Broke down and spilled my stream of salty tears. I've cut my body wishing I would become skinnier. I know how it feels to look in the mirror and see yourself disappear. You have all of you, most of you, some of you, and now none of you. But in the end, you have to realize you have to pick up the pieces of yourself that people told you would never fit together. I've let the virus take over me completely. But in the end, it was never a virus. It was never a code or a hacker. It was me, me and only me. I screwed my glass doll bones, my toasted lungs, my short cut hair to make me look manlier, to build me as one because I'm proud of me, the unfixable thing.